Hey, yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. This is part three of the Grand Scammer Saga. If you haven't had a chance to check out part one or part two yet, I will leave links in the description down below where you could go check those out. In this video, I introduce the scammer to someone on his team that he doesn't even know exists. And that is me as a fake scammer. So he tells me, the victim, to block me, the fake scammer. Anyways, guys, enjoy. Deo! Why you have done such a thing? Hello, Mr. Gary Willekes Jr. This is Attorney Smith, the supervisor for your winning. Please reply my text once you get my message. Hello, sir. I'm at work, ma'am. My father's sleeping. He's been really depressed since you said we need to pay again. <sighs> so ridiculous. Can you send me a picture of you holding your ID, please? Do you got massage from Attorney Smith? Yes, did you get my message about your ID, please? As soon as possible, send me a picture of you holding the ID. Is the picture you sent me earlier of the Nike gift card you holding the card? Nope, I don't. You don't what, ma'am? I don't hold Nike card. Oh, is this Mr. Beckham? I thought this was Miss Lagarde. Sorry, sir. You can reply Attorney Smith, sir. She have solutions to the cards. What is the solution? Give her a text, sir. She will explain everything to you better than me, sir. Anyways, I'm at work again. You know, I thought this money was coming in so I could quit my job and have it my way. I already texted her. She hasn't replied. Okay. I thought Mr. Beckham was the supervisor. I've spoken with him for a few hours and nothing has been done to help us. Sir, Mr. Beckham was the board manager. Right now, I'm in charge of your case. We received some information yesterday concerning your payment. Please, sir, we need you to be patient with us. I have been patient for days. I'm at work. I'll call you when I'm done in a few hours. Sir, we understand you better. We are so sorry for any inconvenience we might have caused you. I'm here to help you out so you can get your winning delivered to your address as soon as possible. Please don't hesitate to text back when you are chanced, sir. Okay? Hi, I'm leaving work in about two hours but have some errands to run for my father and my girlfriend. Can I call you back in three hours? Sir, text me once you are done. I'm finished but my father would like to talk to you. I'm a little fed up of this at the moment. He's very upset. We just need the FedEx tracking number to know this is a legitimate transaction. We can't even get that even after all we have provided. Hello? Is anyone there? This is Gary. Mr. Lagarde, this is Gary Sr. My son said he has asked for a picture of you holding your ID. Will you be providing that to us? I'm starting to believe you may not be truthful with us, and I'm terribly upset because my son spent our money on getting what are now apparently cards for video games. Please, Miss Lagarde. What's going on, Mr. Beckham? Why am I now getting messages from Attorney Smith? I thought you were the supervisor or manager handling our case. I still have not received the ID as was promised. Okay. I'm like, uh -huh. What do you mean, okay? Hello, Mr. Beckham? I'm beginning to think that you had me spend all that money for no reason. Why are you not responding or returning my calls? Miss Smith is in the position now. She has not replied to me at all, sir. She was very busy then, but she will reply you as soon as she can. Just relax, she will hit you up. <laughs> hit me up? Who says that? I mean, she reply your message as soon as she can. Unbelievable. What do you mean, sir? I can't believe how long this is taking for us to receive our grants. You are getting your winning soon, sir. Yeah? When, Mr. Beckham? If Miss Smith helps you with the cards, you are getting your winning delivered to you right away. But you already have all that information. Do you all not talk to each other? Has she said something negative about you and Miss Lagarde? I'm so confused as to why this is not working. We talked to each other but she was in department of the cards so she has more experience about cards. She will get back to you and solve everything once. <sighs> I am heading to bed. It's almost midnight. Please have her contact me tomorrow. Thank you Mr. Beckham. I will. Any news on the FedEx package? Sir, no news yet. The fact was that we didn't confirm the $6,000 payment you supposed to pay back the exact amount to get your winning. 
but the board will help so it can be convenience for you and your father. Right now sir, you will have to make a payment of a sum of $3,000 as soon as possible so as to be able to deliver your winning package to your provided address sir. Please bear with us. We've been bearing with you for almost one week. My son made a payment of $6,000 of which $3,000 were mine and $3,000 were his. He requested an ID and that has not been provided. I've been really depressed over what appears to be us being taken for 6000 Please let us know when the money will be delivered via FedEx. This is Gary Sr. by the way. Sir, we are sorry for any inconvenience we might have caused you. The situation right now is very complicated. We really apologize for the payment issue which occurred here in our department. We received a late information from the STEAM organization which state that they are unavailable at the moment we use them as an option for making your payment. We have been blamed for this. We got a solution sir which you have to understand if truly you want to get your winning. Can you please send me a copy of the information provided to you from the video game company? This does not feel like something a government agency does. In my 70 years on earth, I have never seen any government agency function this way. Sir, you need to believe me. This program is designed to help an individual and it's real and legit. The issue right now is you won't be getting the copy of the information you requested for sir. It's against our rule. You just need to please bear with us sir. Mashan requested an ID to be sent to him and we haven't seen it yet. Can you show us proof by holding your ID in your hand and taking the image like you have requested? Please provide evidence of the veracity of this please. My social security is not much and I spent most of my savings for these cards you requested. Sir, so this is official assignment. By the way you sounding, I think you don't believe me. I am a different agent and seem I'm a good Christian and a God-fearing person and I know what the Bible says about stealing. Take a look at the Bible verse Ephesians 4.28, Exodus 20.15 and Romans. I'm not a scam which I can never steal or cheat you in any way. Hey mate, I see no reason why I would want to scam you because I work hard to earn money not to steal from you or scam you. I swear to you in the name of God that you will get your federal government grant delivered to you as soon as we clear the compensation fee. May I be punished by God if I lie to you in any way. Whoops, whoops. Freaking lightning strikes this guy man. We've provided you with all the information you require. Ah. Uh I don't even know who you are, sir. You have not even provided me with your name. I've spoken to Miss Lagarde, Mr. Beckham, but I don't know who you are. And again, I've not seen any IDs. Please, for my sanity and mental well-being, provide me proof. I know God is looking down upon us currently, and he will be the ultimate judge. Any news? Sir, we already told you how we can sort this. And again, Attorney Christian Lagarde, pretty sure it was Christine Lagarde, Confirm to us that she sent you her Verify ID, which you requested for. So what do you want to know about this program? Attorney Smith, we've made one simple request and that is that she sent a picture of her holding her ID. We've sent numerous images of the cards, our ID, etc. I'm sure you can comply with this one request. Please help me help my father. One week ago today, I was arrested and complied with everything you all requested. This is so sad nobody seems to want to help us. Sir, we did all you requested for. It's an insult asking our federal staff to be holding ID. I don't understand. We did all we can to help, but seems you don't want to receive your winning, sir. Are you kidding me right now? Miss Smith, we have sent everything that was requested. I guess all you all wanted to do was to get us to spend money so we could struggle. Thank you for stressing out my father and having me arrested and that is what is insulting. A simple picture is not an insult. Not being completely honest is. Sir, try to understand us. I think I already told you the only this can work out, sir. Please bear with us. How much longer do I have to bear with you? I'm working all day tomorrow. Was hoping I could have retired but you guys are holding up your end. Get it? I will message you when I get home. Okay. My last message to Miss Lagarde. Miss Lagarde, it's been days since you returned our messages. Why you have done such a thing? 
May the 4th, I receive a message from Mr. Beckham. Hello, sir. I'll be home in three hours. I'll message you then. Okay. A few hours later. So what news do you have for us today? You guys are still holding up the money we were promised. No FedEx tracking number, no IDs, no nothing. Hello, dear winner. I am so glad to let you know that I have talked to the Ilda Superior on your behalf to let you know we have resolved your card payment and please, what time will you be home so FedEx can make delivery to your doorstep? And I want you to know you have to go through some protocols because they are ready to come and deliver your winning money to your doorstep. To enable the delivery of your winning money, you have to go and make a payment of $2,700 so your, mon your winning money can be delivered to your doorstep. So you haven't resolved anything. You're still asking us to pay. The best solution here is to deduct the $2,700 from our total winnings and then bill us after for what we owe. If not, please feel free to be kind enough to cover that fee for us and we'll be eternally grateful. Then I get a grant certificate. You have to bear with us, sir. Yogi? What's the FedEx tracking number? You have to pay the escort fees so FedEx agent can bring your winning to your doorstep. We are giving you FedEx tracking number immediately you complete your payment, sir. Whoa, hold on a second. I have a girlfriend and we're not looking for escorts. I've always seen the FedEx people come in uniforms, not dressed as escorts. Please deduct the payment from the payment. Thank you. Please be informed it won't be possible to deduct slash debit funds because of the insurance policy on the funds which states that no deduction could be made until the funds is successfully delivered to the recipient. For security reasons, because the funds has been placed in an escrow transit and insured to its real value, I will advise you to abide with the rules and regulation so that we can proceed. Await your quick response. Thank you and accept my hearty congratulations once again. Please let me know as soon as possible so I can take the day off work tomorrow to be here for the FedEx agent. Thank you again for the congratulations, but once we have the money in our hands, we will be in birthday suit celebration mode. Thanks again. You are welcome, sir. Are you deposit the payment first thing tomorrow morning? Yes, I'm okay with it being deducted first thing tomorrow morning. So we are now receiving $447,300 and we are okay with that. Thanks. Please let us know the tracking number first thing tomorrow morning. Also, I have not received that message from Attorney Smith. When will she be providing that service? I hope you got text I sent you above. Then he repeats the same message that he sent me before. Your winning can't be deducted. Yes, I understood it. Once the funds are in my hands, I will give the FedEx agent the $2,700 for delivering the funds. Hope you understand. Also, I hope you got my message about Attorney Smith. I'm overdue for a massage. Thanks again. We need to use your payment to prepare your FedEx document and your tracking number, sir. You need to make the payment up front, sir. I'm sending you your tracking number immediately after the payment, sir. I've received packages from FedEx in the past and have personally given the fees to the agent. I kindly expect the same procedure this time around. Again, the escorts are not our concern, but the massage from Attorney Smith would be greatly appreciated. My father hasn't had a good massage in a very long time and to receive one from Attorney Smith would probably make his stress levels diminish. Okay, but remember that them are coming with rug amount of money, them need escorts for security reasons, sir. Miss Smith will get back to you as soon as possible, sir. Well, we don't mind rugs, but the escorts are not necessary, as I've said before. Please have Attorney Smith reach out, especially to my father as a massage from her would definitely get him in a good mood. Have a good night. I'm off to bed. Good night. Sir, please try to understand us. Right now, the only way we can help is by cooperating with us. So right now, you need to make a payment of $3,000, half of the previous payment. Once you pay that, your winning will be delivered to your address, sir. We've paid $6,000, double the amount you are now requesting of which I have given authority to be deducted from our winnings. Please proceed as I have power of attorney over my father as well. We await the FedEx tracking number. Sir, that's the only way we could help you. You have to make a payment of $3,000 today 
Once we receive the payment, your winning will be delivered to your address. As I've repeatedly stated, please deduct it from the winnings or cover it on our behalf and we will pay you back once we get the money. You have all our details already. It's not like we're hiding who we are. Hello? Hello? What's going on? We haven't heard anything for days. Where's our money? Hello? May the 10th, I get a message from Mr. Beckham again. Hello, sir. I'm busy all days. I'm back with your files now, awaiting your quickly response, sir. What's the tracking number? Then, he sends me a picture of him holding his ID. Now, I'm blurring this out because I actually don't know who this person might be, and so I don't want to necessarily uh, have their information up here. But, needless to say, it looks like a pretty realistic ID. I'm kind of impressed. That's what you are asking for. Are you ready to bear with me and get your winning delivered to you as soon as possible? I then come back with, That looks like Photoshop. When I spoke to Mr. Beckham, he sounded African. That looks like my neighbor down the street, Mr. Harrison. We've been bearing with you all for weeks. I'm all out of bears. We are working on your winnings so you can get your winning delivered to you this new week. About time. My father was in our parked car and the post truck hit our vehicle. He's shaken but not stirred. So this money coming this week will come in handy and we can also replace the car. When will we receive the tracking number? Then he sends me a wage levy release certificate. All your satisfaction are ready. All you just need to do is make the payment and get your tracking number. Are you guys still playing this game? We've made the payment already. What is this wage levy thing you sent me? That's part of your document, sir. Hope you remember text I texted you before. And then he sends me a copy of the text that he sent me before that says, hello, dear winner. You remember, sir? Which part of what document? I've received so many text messages from many people that right now, I'm beginning to think my father and I are being pranked. Look at our message history. We never received that message from you. Unless you're sending us messages from multiple numbers, which would not make sense. I scroll up and see it. But that's a solution right now, sir. You can still make the payment today. You will get your tracking number today as well. And your winning will get to you by tomorrow, sir. We made the payment two weeks ago. Try to get the information in the text I sent you, sir. Please, sir, do bear with us. We've sent the card numbers over many times over the last two weeks. Hope you understand. But we all know that there is error in the cards. No sir, there is no way 12 cards can be faulty. Impossible. I was told the cards were fine, but only for gaming. So the mistake is that we were told to get Steam cards. We did as we were told and now I have $6,000 worth of games loaded. Contact Steam again and tell them to make the direct payment to you. Problem solved. We await the FedEx tracking number. Maybe you should do that yourself, because there is no solution to the card yet, sir. I don't know who it was, but someone on your team contacted Seam already. Have them do it again and send the payment over. It is all there. They have the contact at Steam. I don't. We contact Steam already, but no solution yet. Are you there? Yes. Hello. It's me. That's solution now, sir. That makes no sense. You need to make the payment, sir. Sir? I'm currently at the cemetery visiting my mother for Mother's Day. But let me give you all the possible solutions and you can choose which is the most suitable. Option 1. You deduct the $6,000 from the total amount. Easy. Option 2. You contact Steam again and tell them my account name on there with the $6,000 is G Willikers 911. Option 3. You can pay the $3,000 or $6,000 for us and send us the receipt and once we receive the money, we will pay it back. Option 4. Fire every person on your team and find people who can read and input the card numbers properly that have better devices so they can clearly see the images and are more personable. Option 5. 
ask the government to bail you out of the money you can't seem to realize we've already paid and have some compassion for the fact that this has been a very inconvenient experience that I was arrested for. Those are all viable options. Let me know which one you decide and send me the confirmation number from FedEx. Thanks. May 11th, I message Mr. Beckham back and I say, please do let us know which option you've chosen. Hope you understand. I get a message back from Mr. Beckham and it says, no option to choose sir. Make half the payment and get your winning delivered to you right away. On May the 13th, I decided to send myself messages and I only did this so in case the scammer asked me to send him copies of the text messages, I would have something to show him that I was conversing with a separate person. This is where I pretend to be a scammer to myself and then later on, I pretend to be a scammer to him. Hello, Mr. Gary. My name is Jerome Johnson. I am a working with Miss Lagarde to get your funds to you. Would like to inform that we have made a steam contact and they have verified the cards. I will provide a FedEx tracking number shortly. Please bear with us. Then I reply back to Mr. Jerome Johnson. Okay, well, Miss Lagarde never mentioned you before. I've received so many messages from different people on this. I have no idea who I'm dealing with anymore. And how did the cards work all of a sudden? I then say back, there was mistakes from the person that input the numbers. Please be assured it is now in my hands. I am the supervising supervisor of all supervisors of agents. Your FedEx tracking number will be provided shortly as I preparing the package personal. Well, that's what I had told them originally, but they did not believe me. I'm glad it was finally escalated to you because we've been waiting for weeks now. Please bear with us. Hope you understand. I had to throw that in there. We've been bearing with you guys for a while now. When will the package arrive? I've asked them before, but can you send me a picture of you with the package at least so I know this is real, please? Please bear with us. I guess. I then send a message to Mr. Beckham about receiving this fake text message from myself. And I said, I just got a message from a Jerome Johnson saying the cards were verified. Mr. Beckham replies with, who is Jerome Johnson? Well, friggin' horrible typos here. I reply back with, he says he works directly with Miss Lagarde. He's preparing the package tracking now, he said. I'm at work, so I'm just waiting for him to reply back. Nope, we are not working with any Jerome Johnson. Please beware. What? He just messaged me this morning saying the cards were verified. Do you know that Miss Lagarde has changed his number to a Ford hack? No, I didn't know that. What is her new number then? I was wondering why she hasn't replied in 10 days. Then he gives me her fake new number. That's Mrs. Lagarde's new number, sir. You can text her now. Okay, give me a minute. He just texted me back. We are not working with any Jerome Johnson. Ask him some deep questions about your winning. You will understand that he was just playing you. I don't understand. How would he know about the winnings? Then he replies back with, Them hacked Miss Lagarde's number. Hello? Then I reply back to the new number that I was given to Miss Lagarde and I say, Miss Lagarde, your associate Jerome Johnson just verified the cards and said the FedEx tracking number will be provided shortly. Mr. Beckham is saying there is no Jerome Johnson, so I'm a little confused. I just called my father to tell him the exciting news. This is attorney Christine Lagarde from Federal Government's Grants. We don't work with any Jerome Johnson. We have issues with our formal number. Please block him now, he hacked my number. Are you serious? He's been very prompt at answering my messages. He's telling me to hold on while he prepares the package for us. Please block him immediately, he hacked my phone number. He just told me that he works directly with you and that you're only saying this because our information has to be kept confidential. I'm so confused right now. I'm not gonna answer any more of his messages or your messages. I need to think deeply. So at this point, I'm basically trying to make her think that I'm super confused. Send me the number he used to contact you ASAP. Are you there? So I can talk to him and know what's going on. I then fake text message myself again saying, how much longer, Mr. Johnson? Mrs. Lagarde says she doesn't know who you are. Mr. Gary, we have all your information ready immediately. Miss Lagarde says that because of confidentiality. Hope you understand. The tracking number will be provided shortly. Mr. Willikers, your tracking number is... 
I give myself a tracking number. We'll be arriving tomorrow morning. Thank you and enjoy your winnings. I reply back with, this so sudden, please send me a picture of the package. And then I sent myself a picture of me holding a FedEx package. Enjoy, congratulations again. Thank you, I will let my father know our lives will be changed forever. So then I send my other number to the scammer. He sent me the tracking number and picture of the package. He said it will arrive tomorrow. Okay, have you tried the tracking number yet? Mr. Gary, they're trying to scam you. Block the number right away, sir. And send me the screenshot when you've done that. Then I send myself as a scammer again a fake receipt. Please also find attached FedEx tracking receipt. Believe your package will arrive in afternoon or early evening. So at this point, I have the scammer believing that another scammer has contacted me trying to take away his customer or client. Thanks again for watching part three of this Grant Scammer Saga. If you haven't had a chance to check out part one over here and part two over here, please make sure you go check those out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I will catch you next time. Peace!